All right, and I'm back to do another Bloodborne video, hopefully doing the first boss fight. So without further ado, let's get into the uh, loading screen so that we can sit here and talk about how things are going. So, so far I've died just a couple times, not much, but I think three might be the number. Here's hoping, I mean, worst case scenario, I'm above three, but I haven't really lost much. I've got the shortcut, I'm headed to the first boss area. So overall, we're doing pretty good, I mean, we're set up with the better armor already. Still have the, the cane, which I'm not a huge fan. Actually, in this episode, I'm going to go get a different weapon. I can't stand this weapon, to that degree. So let's just fight my way back. I did upgrade this off camera. I, uh, I upped the damage on the weapon by like one modification. So. I don't really like it. I'm, not, I'm planning to go get the saw spear. As soon as I can. And if you, uh, if you need to read these, I'll leave them up for a second so you can pause them. Um, so yeah, let's clear this area out. Try not to let that right there happen again, because if it does, then I'm probably not in the best position to keep my butt alive. Jesus. I am playing sloppy today. Ah, oh well. I'm just gonna run by these wolves and hope I don't die. I need to go back into the sewers, which I know I said last video I didn't want to come back down here, but I need to because I need the, uh, the weapon. And the weapon is down here as far as I remember. However, I don't need to stop around here. That was the wrong button. Just gonna hit that one. <coughs> So I can just kind of run by these guys. I don't care about how angry they get about me being here or any of that. I'm just going to sprint, dodge roll when necessary. That's going to hurt a lot. We're okay, thank God he fell. Okay, I still don't know what that item is. I should probably collect it because I can probably get out of that. Let's heal up again and roll in there and get my item. Now every time I come back down here, these guys are going to be so very angry with me for stealing their stuff, but I don't care. Okay. Now I think at the top of... Not this ladder. Actually, it might be this ladder. Yeah, it's the top of this one. There's these two corpses that I can knock down and get items out of. So... You see the crows down there? There's a lot of them. Like, look at that. Look at how many crows there are. At least they're not being sneaky about it. They're just there. Hanging out. Let's beat them to death and grab whatever this is. I think the stuff that I'm looking for is up here, the items. I might be wrong. Oh no, this is a shortcut up there. Um, this button to heal. Okay, now these guys are a pain in the ass if you're not careful with how you fight them like that. Uh, now, I'm going to just cheat and beat the shit out of my uh, melee weapon because of doing it like that. I could have lit them on fire, which is respectively more cheap more cheap than uh than doing what I did. And the item over here, if you do this the way that I just did it, this item right here will help you out a lot later. She uh she's basically her mom left to find her father, whom I'm not gonna spoil it yet, but let's just say we don't find them. Or we do find them, we just don't get them back to her. So, I don't remember how to get into this building. I know there's a way into the roof. 
Eh, I'll figure it out from over there. I'm gonna have to go all the way down and then around this way, and that's there's a ladder in here. It's over, uh, not here, but I think it's around this curve. Yeah, right here. Where the lantern is. The oh wow. Well. First time I was here, this looked like they were ominously hanging in front of them. I didn't even notice that they were attached. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, let's just full on sprint. Because I think that's where I want to go. That makes sense. They're stairs, they go up places. There should be, uh, especially there's an enemy up here. So, yeah, I'm exactly where I wanted to be. Okay, I don't remember how the other way that. Oh, I remember exactly where I am now. Okay, yeah, I haven't. No, I don't know of any safe places. I will later. Not right now, though. Okay, so when I ran by those big guys and ran up to get that item in that area that I was worried they trapped me in last episode, if you come straight back down the path, like if you go up there and take a left instead of going straight to pick the item up, you come down those stairs right there in this way. If you do that, you have to attack those dogs and kill them because it makes it a little bit easier to move through. If I'm not mistaken, there's an NPC in here as well. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh, God. I thought I was going to kill myself right there. I look like a real idiot. I do think there's... No, this might not be the place the NPC is. Oh, well. Let's break those down. And, uh, we'll go down and collect them. I want to say the one on the left is the saw blade. And this one is, uh, something else. Might be wrong, though. Yeah, that one over there is the saw blade. This one over here, I don't remember what it is. I mean, we'll be coming back up and dropping down to get to it because... I like weapons and armor and items and everything. So I haven't found a really efficient way to get back down aside from just straight up jumping off or falling off as unelegant as possible. Just drop. Oh, this is what they told me it is over here. I just forgot where it was. Okay, let's go talk to her. Or him. I don't I don't remember actually. Being it's a lady. Okay. She gives me hunter marks, and I think she gives me a gesture if I continue. To, yeah, there we go. And that's all, I think. Yeah. That's all she gives. She, you, you see her a little bit later though. She's, she's kind of useful. Okay, so let's go down here and get this other weapon that I prefer more than the one that I'm using. Let's grab this while we're here. And not being assaulted. Yeah, but, oh shoot, I was wrong about that. Ooh. Tons of it. Don't you run from me. Quite literally, you rat bastard. Oh, I guess the other one was a saw blade. I don't know. Okay. So let's collect whatever's over here, and then we'll go back up and get that weapon. Because there's no actual point to land, go back up there, because technically this area should be filled with water. So that you can land and go on the boats and go across, but obviously the boats aren't really in working condition right now. Nor is there really anything else in this game. The ladders work. The guns work. That's about it though. Uh, you might have guessed that there are more rats on this side than the ones on the opposite side. Just creep back away from the rats and equip this. Okay, it does the same amount of damage. Why do I like this weapon more then? Oh, because I've already upgraded this one. This one I haven't left. Scaling's a little bit worse in it, but... I still prefer it. Plus, man, she doesn't like having a soft spear. Soft spears are cool. Okay, so now I can go fight the first boss. So let's go do that. Should probably heal. 
I'm not even gonna bother fighting anything. I mean, there's those two dogs on the way, but I'm just gonna kind of not worry about it. I actually, I'm gonna climb up here and go back to the lantern. And I'm gonna call it quits, and then I'm just gonna upload the boss fight in a separate video all by itself in case you were, like, following along but don't want the boss fight spoiled for you. Which, I mean, I can understand. I should probably equip that, uh, music box. It comes very useful in a couple fights later. Yeah, because right now I've been recording for probably about 13 minutes. 13, 14. And the, uh, since I'm recording these through the PlayStation itself, they, uh, they don't have the greatest recording time. It's like 15 minutes max. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up the, or I'm going to exit out of this recording, load up the next recording, the boss is through that door right there by the way. Load up the next recording at the bonfire and then you can just kind of follow in with me. And I'm probably only going to be in the boss arena for maybe five minutes maximum. Not to get anybody's hopes up, but I actually beat the boss my first playthrough, or my first attempt last time. So, here's hoping. Alright, well, I'll see you soon.